there YouTube. So we're going to do a video on the advanced strat for guild boss. I'm going to show it on normal just because I don't have the proper gear. I'll give you a quick rundown. So you want Jericho obviously to be in whatever spot, but the gear, all crit damage. This way you can have a three times stack of crit damage. You want to bring it up as high as possible. Now, not everything is optimally uh, rolled, but you know that's that's okay. Merlin, you just want to have attack and defense, pretty standard across the board. Gother, though, is an interesting one. The reason this is the advance, you want to run pure defense gear. You want to have as much defense as possible. And you can see that none of my stuff is even plus high enough. Do you have great rolls? That's also why I'm doing this on normal. Let's just show. And the optimal thing would be if, for Gustav. If you could have Pierce Rate instead. I don't have anything special. So there's that. Association characters, you just want to have their main stat. So Gile, we prefer to have attack. Attack for Merlin. Although for Gother, you want to have a defensive set. I don't have a good set. I literally just threw some pieces on my melee. Just to kind of show how this works. And with further ado, without further ado, let's get into it. And you want to make sure to not apply the bleed before you attack. Um, you just don't want to kill the boss that quickly. <laughs> you want to get five full turns of Gother's passive. So it's super important to use shields whenever you can. Gother should have more than enough defense to tank whatever hit. And nothing should break through the shield. Even a level 1 shield is too much. <laughs> I got a little lucky on my random stuff there. But a little unlucky regarding uh, Jericho, but you know, that's just par for the course. Just gonna apply another debuff just because we can. And usually I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm gonna do another shield. Probably a misplay, I won't pick up another shield next turn, but we'll find out. Oh, that's pretty lucky. So we have two stacks right now. And if you're wondering, you can always find out how many stacks you have, guys. And if you press and hold on a unit, down below you'll see you've got two. So, we're going to burn his ulti. That's why you can't do it. Uh, I'm just going to merge some cards. And you know what? I'm actually going to do a level 2 for Merlin. It would be great if we can get some Jericho cards here. Man, I'm by far the most unlucky person. But we're gonna rank Gustav up just so we have it. We're gonna burn his ulti. Move this card over, and you know what? Just start moving some other cards over. Come on, Jericho cards. And a shield. That works. That makes me a little nervous because I might not be able to 
tank an ulti with it, but, you know, we'll give it a shot. So what we're going to do, let's see, Jericho needs two. I'm going to move it over by one, then use it. It doesn't matter the actual order you do it. Um, I could have moved it again, but we'll find out. Next turn, we're going for the kill. Hopefully, Gother doesn't take any damage here. And he will not, because this is on normal. <laughs> and that's it. Now if I crit, I should do some pretty huge damage. Of course I do not. Obviously if you use food, you can make this easier. I just don't have a proper gear yet to make this viable for any harder difficulty unless I use food. And I like to show you don't need food for things, so we'll try it once more. Here we go. Jericho is so funny when you don't have any crit built up. <laughs> now I don't want to do too much damage. But I do need more cards. So I'm just going to use a Gustav attack. There we go. But I didn't get any shield this turn, so that part's going to really put a damper on this. Gustav, burn the ulti, and then you know what, won't do any damage, so it's all good. And again, the purpose is to get five stacks on that Gother passive. Excellent. And again, press and hold on the character. You can see we're at three stacks, so I need two more turns. So we're just gonna go boom, boom, boom. And move the Jerry ulti to the side. time. Burn the ulti. Truly doesn't matter what we do here. You know what? Might as well apply one more debuff. And next turn, we go for the nuke. Five stack right there. And time to watch the fun. Should be able to crit for significantly higher if you're using food. Any of proper gear. Again, it's a lower score than mine. Normal. Uh, run.
Well, that's because I go for speed kills. This strat again works much better on hard and higher. Uh, especially when you're properly geared. Your crit's going to be much higher, but it's just that simple. That's all you got to do. Best of luck out there, guys. Bye.